Sons and Daughters of God for May 22nd. The reading is entitled, In Cheerfulness. The scripture reading is taken from Acts 27.22. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer. Jesus lived in a peasant's home and faithfully and cheerfully acted his part in bearing the burdens of the household. Jesus carried into his labor cheerfulness and tact. It requires much patience and spirituality to bring Bible religion into the home and into the workshop to bear the strain of worldly business and yet keep the eye single to the glory of God. This is where Christ was a helper. He was never so full of worldly care as to have no time or thought for heavenly things. Often he expressed the gladness of his heart by singing psalms and heavenly songs. Often the dwellers in Nazareth heard his voice raised in praise and thanksgiving to God. He held communion with heaven in song, and as his companions complained of weariness from labor, they were cheered by the sweet melody from his lips. His praise seemed to banish the evil angels and, like incense, fill the place with fragrance. Do not frown and fret when any task is required of you, but cheerfully carry the little burdens. They are nothing but plain, homely, everyday duties, and may appear to you very small and insignificant, but someone must do them. If you go about them with quick step and a heart glad because you do something to lighten the cares of your parents, you will be a blessing in the home. You do not know how much good you can do by always wearing a cheerful, sunny face and watching for opportunities to help. Day by day, you are building for eternity. Fashion your characters after the divine model. Weave into them all the kindness, thoughtful obedience, pains taking, and love that you can. Cultivate quick sympathy, always have a cheerful, happy face, and be ready to lend a helping hand to those who need your aid. God will make an accurate entry of every deed done to his glory. And in the great day of final accounts, you will receive a glorious reward. Thank you for listening.